All right, welcome back. Here's a showcase of another hand-painted Sabudio squad. Uh, this time we'll be looking at the Liverpool Leviathans, the seventh squad in my five-a-side uh, soccer league. Uh, before we do that, though, let's uh, revisit the Manchester Manticores and the Watford Werewolves, who, if you've been watching some of my recent Sabudio matchups, uh, they seem to be very difficult to tell apart on the field. And uh, that's despite... You know, up close, easily distinguishable, but for some reason, on the pitch with my camera, uh, it's just very difficult to tell them apart. Even with the purple stripe on the uh, Manticore's uh, uniform that's not present on the, the Werewolves uniform. However, I think I've uh, solved the issue. I went back and painted uh, the Manticore's plat uh, base platforms purple. The same purple as the, uh, I think, purple iris, as the uh, shorts and the stripes. And now... There's no trouble whatsoever at discerning the two squads during gameplay. Now you can see that purple base beneath the Manticore's feet, and that doesn't exist there with the werewolves. Now it's no it's no problem. I'm so glad I thought of this because now if this happens again in the future, I know exactly what to do. Rather than just try to repaint an entire squad of players, I just need to paint uh, the uh, the base plates there on the uh, beneath the feet. Now I wouldn't dare do this to all the different squads. Uh, because, you know, most of them are readily distinguishable, all but those two so far. And so in the future, this pops up, this will be a great way to uh, mitigate and or eliminate uh, the issue. Because now, even though you might not be able to see too much uh, difference in the, the kits themselves, you can see that one of the bases has purple and the other one is white. And so, again, that's why I didn't go back and paint them all so that we can have that option if necessary. All right. So, and as you can see, they're on the end, easily distinguishable now, those two squads. So, problem solved. Now, let's move on to the Liverpool Leviathans. This is the seventh squad. And this is an instance where I had a plan, I actioned that plan, and everything turned out great. Um, the top is Bamini Blue, which is an indigo. The uh, shorts and the shin guards, pink parfait, and Bimini blue trim on the uh, the shin guards as well. This was always the plan with this team, once I finally decided what colors I was going to use. Uh, nothing fancy here. Now, we're going to have to turn the, uh, the light on to get in close. That logo, you're, you're going to have to stretch your imagination as far as it will go. You're looking at a sea serpent in the water, undulating in the water. Uh, there's the head... There's a one hump, there's two humps, and there's the tail. Just like uh, any old map of the world from uh, the Renaissance or, or the, uh, you know, any olden times map, you'll see those sea serpents with the humps, you know, sticking up. That's what I was going for there. And painting that by hand, that was as good as it was ever going to be. I'm totally satisfied with it. Um, now the uh, decals... Atlanta Falcons away decals. Those are water slide decals. Again, I cannot guarantee these will all stay on because we're slapping these figures against uh, the base, the wall, the ball, the, the metal goals. Uh, there's just no way to, to know for certain if those jersey numbers will stay on forever. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put him back here with the others. Uh, we're, we're only missing the centaurs, the green, to have uh, the entire colors of the rainbow plus Watford, the, uh, the gray and black. So... Uh, Roy G. B Biv, Roy G. Biv missing the green. So there's red, orange, yellow, and then green, which we'll get there. Blue, indigo, a lighter blue, as you can see, those are easily distinguishable. And then violet, the uh, manticores, and the werewolves at the end there. Those are the uh, the core eight teams of the uh, EFHL. And of course, the next one will be the uh, Southampton Centaurs, which will be green that's all as far as i've gotten so far they'll be green okay now is this okay this is 33 and uh, you know i put these decals on there's no way i'm going to be able to see these during gameplay they're too small folks uh, but i do plan to uh, whip up some index cards with all the jersey numbers and, and give these guys names and uh not so much backstories we'll we'll we'll, we'll role play that as we're as we can I don't want to get bogged down trying to remember all their names while we're playing the game because, you know, I've got 12 minutes to score goals. And, uh, you know, it's, it would, it, you know, dedicated commentators would be necessary to facilitate that. But I'll have that information if I need it. 
Okay. Yep. And again, the, uh, the, the Jersey logo was always going to be incredibly abstract. But if you stretch your mind hard enough, you can imagine that's a sea serpent. Okay. Might be easier to see on the goalkeeper, who we'll look at last. Okay. These decals, two of these de decals kind of gave me a fit. The one on the goalkeeper and number 11. Here, no, that's number 10. This one was all right. This one stayed on well for me. But, no, I'm very, very happy with these. Nice contrast with the Huddersfield Hydras in blue, dark, or bright blue, as opposed to this uh, Bamini blue. Great contrast. Okay. And then I'll show you the decal that... I basically had to glue this on. Now, I know that all decals are technically glued on, but I just basically had to put uh, non-watered-down Mod Podge down there and then slap it on there to finally keep it on there. Um, these particular brand of uh, unpainted Subidio figures are superb for gameplay because they're, they're practically unbreakable. It's a bold statement, but they're very durable. Um, and they're a joy to paint, but they're, they're, it's very, very difficult to get water slide decals on these things. Um, because of the, the the shape of their backs and the the circle that's in a lot of their backs, the divot. Um, so, yeah, you know, as abstract as that team logo is, at least I'm consistent. All right, and. We'll go ahead and have a look at the goalkeeper, and I might just take him out of this stick. Let's see. Yeah, let's turn the light off so you can see. I had to do the the, the logo in, in the blue rather than the pink because the, the entire ensemble there's pink. There you go. You can see the... And I can see it as an incredibly abstract <laughs> design. And these are the most challenging of all to get the water slide decals on because there's literally a divot in their backs right where the decal is supposed to be. And that is genuinely the best I can do on these. I did all right. That's Again, I can't guarantee that's never coming off. But um, it'll be all right, even if it does. So there we are, the uh, Liverpool Leviathans. And, and, of course, I took all these mascot names from my Gridiron Football EFHL uh, 8 Squad League that we were using for um, Roll for Yardage. And also pen and paper football. We did a pen and paper football season with, with those cats. And now I've repurposed them for play in, in, in England. In what will eventually be a sort of five-a-side Premier League once I paint 20 squads. And folks, that's going to take a long time to, to action. Uh, because, you know, even though I'm only painting five figures per team, uh, that's a time-consuming endeavor. And I don't find myself with a lot of time to do that much these days. It has it happens late at night now, and uh, it's not you know it's not like the old days when I had all day to paint all those Pittsburgh Steelers uh, back during the pandemic. Uh, the d the days are tied up, and so I can only uh, paint at night. So one more team, and and then we'll get started uh, structuring the EFHL league. I'll come up with a schedule and a plan and some. Some tiebreaker rules, which that may be an issue uh, with soccer, since the scores are always so similar and so low. Uh, I'm thinking about the uh, Premier League point system. Uh, that might help. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is coming together so well. I, I was tempted to put them all on the field. I'm going to save that probably for the the big EFHL preseason super show. Uh, we'll put all 40 players out on the pitch here. Of course, the goalkeepers, well, I'll have to put them laying down because I can't put, uh, I don't have, I don't, yeah, I do have eight sticks, but they're not weighted. I suppose we, I can look into doing that. We could do it that way. But, uh, yeah, this is coming along nicely. The only, my, my only big concern was, uh, the problem with distinguishing the werewolves from the manticores on the playing pitch. And we've solved that issue now. You, they're easily distinguishable, even if you can't tell their, their uniforms apart. But uh, I see no uh, problems with the next team, which will, I, I'm thinking dark green uh, jerseys with maybe that, that, that 
that C Seattle Seahawks alternate uniform green. I don't know what kind of green that is. Pea soup green for the shorts or for the for the yeah for the shorts and maybe the the leg guards or the shin guards. And uh, I've got some options for the jersey numbers if I go with a dark green top. I, the Packers, the Jets at home. Uh, I don't think I have Eagles home. Anyway, their 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 color is not so much green anymore. Some sort of electric blue, or something. Uh, but I've got options on on the jerseys for these. And I was a little concerned that green on green wouldn't work. But then I remembered that my high school football team wore green jerseys on the field, and that worked just fine. So that, that's not going to be a problem. Well, folks, there you go. Uh, we've got one more squad. So you know, there's going to be some test matches between the Leviathans and. Other teams. I don't know if we'll do all one, two, three, four. The the other six teams. That's hopefully I'll have the the centaurs painted by then, and then we'll do some test matches with them. Get some nice polish on the bottom of the bases. Get that built up so that these things slide quite nicely, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll start the EFHL. Um, there's still no ETA. Just uh, be on the lookout for that. In the meanwhile, lots of Subidio games coming up. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, pals. Talk to you again soon.